I just got my Xeno puck in the mail. I'm gonna be unboxing it and reviewing it for you guys. Now, Xeno puck did send me this. However, they are not paying me to say anything about it. So it's gonna be a completely honest review. This is supposed to be a off ice training puck. It weighs the same as a normal puck. I can already feel it. Super heavy, feels pretty good. It's supposed to slide really good on most surfaces. Let's get right into the unboxing. I did start to open it, but then I decided I should open it on camera. So no, I haven't opened it, it's still sealed. There we go. And the puck. Gray puck. Got a label there. Xeno pucks. Feels nice and heavy. Nothing inside of it rattling around. So I don't know how this is actually gonna work sliding. Let's head outside for all the testing. All right guys, we're outside with it. I have not yet even put it on the asphalt. So this is gonna be completely blind review. Just gonna put it down. I'll just use a puck first to just show you. And if I try and stick handle, it just slips up. Time to try this. This is good, man. This is really good. That is good. Wow, that is good, guys. That is crazy. I want to try a bit of passing. And just bounce some passes off of it. Nice. That pass is really good. I'm gonna rip a saucer pass back from here to see if it lands nicely. Try one more. So after a pass, it kind of just bounces a little bit. Doesn't really bounce enough to like go over your blade at all. It doesn't flip or anything. Pretty good so far. Already pretty scratched up, but I don't think that the scratches will affect it at all. Yeah, I don't even know. I don't even know how this thing slides so good, but it sure does. You can rip a couple shots. Feels really good. Super nice to have a puck that's the same weight as a normal puck. So yeah, well you just saw that there when it landed, it did start bouncing. Ripped it right off the target. Check if there's any damage. Not much. There's a slight dent right there in the corner. I don't actually know if that's from just what I did right there or not, but we'll keep track of that. I'll hit a couple more posts and targets and see what it does to it. If I can hit them. Oh, right on the corner of it. So I hit it right there. It just peeled up a little bit of the label, but there is not any major dents in the actual puck. There's a tiny little mark there, but nothing big at all. The puck itself is pretty good so far. Oh, this thing slides almost too good. You saw a couple there where I did a toe drag and it actually went past my stick. I'm just not used to it yet. Sound like that. <laughs> yeah, that's really good. Like, for stick handling, this is all day better than a green biscuit.
So after shooting with it for a while, it's looking really good, guys. It's just the label that makes it look bad. So there's a little bit of a flap off the label there, and also right there. Otherwise, I really cannot see anything. Like, other than the scratches on the bottom, which don't affect it at all. It's super smooth along the sides and the corners. Not really any major dents at all. Run a couple hard ones off post. You're going to be seeing a lot more of these pucks in the future. Go check them out. Link is in the description. Just when you're ordering them, in the special instructions box, just type Coach Red in there to let them know that I sent you guys there. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. You're watching Coach Red.